All right, so Davi and Cassie have themselves a podcast, and it is really funny. If you love them on the show, it is unfiltered on their podcast. <laughs> and this week on Broadly Speaking, it's a very interesting question about faking it if you have RB. So on the Bart Show, we started a club for people with RBF. And if you don't know what RBF is, it's resting B face. So it's just you naturally sit there and people are like, what, what's wrong? Are you angry? Mm -hmm. Are you mad? Because your face just falls in a way that makes you look pissed off all the time. It's a real thing. And we, not only did we talk about it on the show, but we invited 10 <laughs> listeners in on it a Friday a, that have resting B face. It was the angriest P1 party ever. It was the worst P1 party because <laughs> we thought we were being so funny. And they thought we were funny, but they just had that look. They don't show absolutely. it. They just don't show it. We gave them bracelets and everything. Like yeah. those, like, you know, those yellow Lance Armstrong Live Strong bracelets. We gave RBF ones so they could be identified <laughs> as RBFers. <laughs> but that leads us to our question. Like, if you have RBF, are you obligated to make it look like you're having a good time so people around you don't get uncomfortable? And there's a very real world example that happened with Davi, mm -hmm. and she called someone out over it at her show. I couldn't help <laughs> it. Um, so Fort Wayne was amazing. You go up there, do right. a market visit of Fort Wayne. Everybody is just like, like happy to yeah. see you. Oh my God. The face is it's, so precious. It's not like they have a major league baseball team or a <laughs> NFL team. <laughs> or a, a lot going on. They want to see anything major. They got to go to Chicago. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I guess that's true. And that's why they drive to Michigan to or get Indy. a little bit of edibles. Or in Indy. Right. I gotta make it interesting. So Fort Wayne had a blast, but, um, I was so in my head because Atlanta, my hometown, I love y'all so much. Everybody was great, and a lot of people had a really good time, but there was one woman. <laughs> and my question is, if you have RBF, can I send you to the back? Can I ask you not to buy front seat tickets at my comedy show if you have RBF? Wait, did you, make was, a, did you make a bit out of this while you were on stage? I had to because oh, after God, an great. hour, it was just jacking me up. Mo, has this ever happened to you? All the Where, time. And it's All like, the time. it's a beautiful venue. <laughs> yes. The lights are down. I can't really see a lot of faces, but it's candlelight. So everybody's just leaning into the candlelight and watching me. And I'm seeing so many smiley faces. <laughs> but for a full hour, <laughs> this yeah. woman is just aggressively chewing. She's got her hand like she's on the phone with customer service for three hours, so pissed, and she's just chewing her gum. Just chewing and watching me and didn't laugh for like an hour. And I, I could, like, it was tripping me up. Like, it was <laughs> jacking me the They hell always up. sit in the front, too. Always sit right in the front yeah. every single time. So, and like, I recognized her, too. So I was like, it's this gorgeous person. And aren't beautiful people, like, more intimidating looking when they're angry? Like, like they're, they're just like not having really, a good time. I mean, oh, no, so some pretty ugly, <laughs> intimidating people, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. well, I do, though. There is some underlying truth to this, that you feel like you gotta work harder for beautiful people. <laughs> <laughs> you like, don't care about the ugly one? <laughs> You're ugly. What does it matter? I'm like, I'm just, like, making, I'm digging in a hole. <laughs> so she, she, she's beautiful and I think we've met her before. I'm like, I swear she looks familiar but she was just, didn't appear like, <laughs> if she was having a good time, no one told her face. So like, <laughs> she's just sitting there like so upset and I was like, God, I want to give her a mask or something. Just to, like, can you put, can we pretend we're social distancing again? <laughs> just like cover that up because it's driving me. And I said, I'm sorry, are you having a good time? <laughs> so right in the middle of your set. Yeah, I was like, I couldn't take Anymore, yeah, and I lost my crap and I said are you having a good time and she's like oh yeah oh yeah so she your was face yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell your face so, that you're enjoying yourself and I wanted to say that but I know that as a woman and as a feminist when someone tells me smile mm -hmm. I want to sweep the leg I'm like F you don't tell me what to do with my face so some <laughs> people just come to comedy shows and I understand this and they think in their head she's so funny right. she's so great Guilty. but they That's don't me. do an outwards which is like Cassie so Cassie's thing is she thinks something's hilarious she sits there and <laughs> glares at you but when you say my grandma died this weekend she's like I'm so sorry <laughs> some people aren't good in social situations okay <laughs> but that's why I don't sit in the front row because I will think about the jokes and I'll be like damn that's so funny how did she get that like right. I will never be that funny so and I go off and you're then dissecting I'm... the joke and how she got there right. rather than just taking it for what it is and enjoying it and laughing right but I now force myself <laughs> to laugh out loud like the social cues so that people are aren't uncomfortable <laughs> and I'm so so I'm sitting there and I'm like I am a comedian I suffered traumas <laughs> as a child and now I'm funny about it you need to give me the validation did you yeah. say that to her no I didn't say all that you I was sure. just like fix your face <laughs> like, <laughs> fix your damn what face what is wrong with 
with you. I said, are you having a good time? She's like, oh, yeah. I was like, I could not tell. No one could tell. Those and are the people just... that come up to you after the show and go, you're the funniest person I've I ever seen. And they said, yeah, the whole time. And don't laugh, <laughs> nothing. Like, what? I felt bad, but at the same time, I was like, Cassie, can I ask people with RBF to sit in the back? And she's like, I don't think so. That's so beautiful. That's what we talked about on Broadly Speaking. They should week. have an RBF section. Yes. They should. Just I, like, yeah. yeah. Not in the front. No. It's way, way in the back. back. Yeah. Way in the dark. Behind the pole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cassie, where can they hear more of this? Uh, where can they hear Broadly Speaking? New episode just dropped today. You can hear it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. The Bird Show.